Welcome to the Varsity Kansas Big Show. I'm Tony Adami with the Wichita Eagle and VarsityKansas.com. We're filming today at KSN, mm -hmm. and my guest is East High Boys basketball coach Joe Jackson. Joe, how are you? Thanks for coming out. Just fine, Tony. Good to be here. Thank you. Well, Joe's team, you guys are ranked number three. You finished third in the state last year. You're ranked number two this year in the preseason, defending City League champions. Mm -hmm. And not that you needed it, but you got kind of an advantage where everybody else started playing Friday, and you guys mm -hmm. play against Southeast on Tuesday. Tell me what the vibe is like with your team and, and how mm -hmm. you guys are headed into the opener. Well, you know, uh, uh, that definitely could be an advantage. We, we got to go scout a couple of games on Friday and Saturday, and, and it's definitely good to be able to kind of know what your opponent's up to before, before you go into that game. But uh, at the same time, I think our guys are definitely ready to, uh, to play a game and, and having a little extra time before, you know, I think guys kind of get tired of playing against each other in practice, and they're, re they're ready to go out and, and uh, um, you know, play somebody else besides ourselves right now. Well, everybody knows a lot about your, your big three players that we've kind of referred to a lot in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk some more about the role players, and, and we'll get to the big mm -hmm. guys in a second, but tell me about some of the role players and some of the guys on the team that I mean, not a lot of people have heard about and who are going to you know, fill out that roster and really provide depth for you guys this year. Well, absolutely, Tony. Uh, we have, uh, um, you know, along with the three guys that everybody mentions, and, and Zach, Samaje, and Xavier, uh, we've got a, uh, a couple other seniors that really – really play strong roles for us. Uh, Terrence Kaw uh, is a returning point guard for us. He actually, Terrence started a couple of games for us early in the season last year and his brother ended up with a, a rare form of bone cancer and, and Terrence missed some time with us to be with family, which is understandable, but Terrence is a phenomenal guard. He's, he's a true point guard. He's a pass first guy. He's going to create for others and, and he can still knock down an open shot too and, and uh, just really has shown good leadership for us. He's, he's been instrumental in our conditioning and, and getting guys in, in the workout and and, uh, you know, he's, he's got a good intensity level and works hard. And uh, another senior along with Terrence we've got back is Isaac Fralin. Uh, Isaac was honorable mention all city last year as a junior and uh, was our second leading rebounder uh, on the team last year. So uh, between those two guys, bringing, it's, it's, it's crucial to have some, some senior leadership and some seniors in, in, you know, as far as role players like that that just do, you know, they've bought into to what, what team's all about. and, and uh, they've done a great job for us already to start this year off. So uh, we've got another senior, Sam Eccles, comes in as a, as a reserve guard for us, and he just does a, a really tremendous job. Sam plays with a ton of energy. Uh, we've got a couple of really good juniors coming along, and Mark Hartley and, and Jalen Dixon. We're actually short another junior, and with those two guys, uh, Raymond O'Day had an ACL surgery last year uh, and got cleared to come back. He's a cross-country runner as well. And uh, uh, Raymond uh, just has been having some, some problems with his knee again. So we're, we're in the process of getting that checked out and seeing if, if he's going to be able to go this year for us. But our junior class is really solid. You know, th those guys are, you know, everybody knows about Xavier as a junior right now. But uh, between Mark and, and Jalen and Raymond, those are three really good juniors that we've got that are going to contribute, you know, some major minutes for us at the varsity level. And we've got a couple of, of dynamite sophomores as well that, that have really stepped up. And Mikhail McKinney, as a, as a, as a, he's a backup point guard for us. And, uh, you know, Mikhail may be challenging some of these older guys for some starting minutes because he can really get after it and go. And then uh, Elijah Kelly is Xavier's younger brother as a sophomore. And, and Elijah's a sleeper of the group. You know, not a lot of people know about Elijah yet, but uh, we're sure hoping by, by the end of the season people are going to know who he is as well. You know, Xavier <coughs> Kelly, you refer to him, uh, committed <coughs> Kansas State to play football. He's a big-time defensive end, six foot five, about 220 pounds. Uh, and mm -hmm. Zach Jackson is another Division I player you have on your team in basketball. I want to talk a little bit about him because he's a, a six foot five guard, uh, can handle the ball really well, can kind of do a little bit of everything. What makes him such a special player? And maybe you could talk about where he's going to go to college at, where he's signed at. Absolutely. You know, uh, Zach is, is a phenomenal kid, and he's been our hardest worker. He's been our leader, you know, uh, just at his, his entire time at East. And he was able uh, to go from playing freshman basketball on the freshman level his ninth grade year, uh, played freshman ball his entire season. Uh, sophomore year, came up and played some JV and was fighting for a few varsity minutes as a sophomore. And by the end of his sophomore year, this kid had worked so hard and, and just bought into what we're trying to do on the defensive end of the floor. Zach was our best defender as a sophomore. And we just, we could see growth, uh, you know, throughout you know, freshman moving into sophomore and, and then sophomore moving into, uh, you know, as a sophomore playing JV and varsity. And then last year being all Metro, all city, all state, second team, uh, you know, we've just seen tremendous growth. But 
that's a testament to how hard Zach's worked, and uh, it didn't hurt that, that he hit a growth spurt, you know, and, and is, you know, 6'5", six, 6'5 five, six, five and a how half right now. How much did he now. grow? He came in as a freshman. He wasn't 5'10". He was probably 5'9", five, oh, five, five, probably, as a freshman, so, uh, you know, he's, he's grown about eight inches over the last couple of years, and that, that, that never hurts either, yeah. but um, Zach is, you know, along with Terrence and a couple of other of our seniors, have just been instrumental in getting guys in the weight room in the off season, making sure guys are at workouts. Uh, you know, we ran a great program in the summer and we guys hardly ever missed and, and you can't make things mandatory in the summertime, but we just, we had guys there and, and uh, guys were putting in, putting in time and, and, and that's a testament to Zach and some of the other guys as far as just, you know, staying on everybody and hey, we got to be here guys, but this is, we've got a chance to be special this year and, and, uh, um, you know, I think guys have really bought into that, and, and Zach's been a great leader, you know, both by example and, and as a vocal leader for us as well. So what's the, what do you do to keep their motivation focused on a game-to-game, -game, day day-to-day basis when, when everybody is telling them, you know, you could be state champs, you could run the table, you need to win another City League championship. It seems like how, how do you keep them focused on little things when the big picture is so appealing? Well, you know, uh, 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 you know, now, that's one of the things that we try to get guys to block out media expectations and expectations from everybody outside of our of our organization. And we go in and we set we set team goals and, and we sit down and, and, and we check up on that. We try to follow through with with the goals we set. And, you know, our guys basically all have the same thing in mind. And everybody I mean, every, every team starts out every year hope, hoping to win a state title. But I think it's more important than, than just talking about winning a state title is how are you going to get there and, and the steps involved and it's, it's the process. And, uh, you know, we haven't done that in several years at East. 05 was the last year. One of our assistant coaches, A.J. Allen, was on that team. And, and uh, our JV coach right now, Amos Alford, was, was coaching in the organization then. So those two have state, state championship experience. And uh, just having those guys around to, to tell, tell guys what it was like and the work that went into that and, and uh, has been crucial. But I, I really think just to keep guys focused, we've done a lot of goal setting. And, and it really is, you know, uh, taking it a day at a time. And uh, every day we, we, we break out of practice and we ask the guys, did we get better today? And, you know, we'll have an emphasis in practice throughout the day, whether that's on defense or rebounding, both which we've still got to get better at, or maybe it's spacing on the offensive end, and, and we'll implement drills to make sure we're working on those things. And uh, at the end of the day, we'll, the kids will give themselves an evaluation before, before we do. Did we get better today? What did we get better at? And that's been huge for us because, you know, hopefully as the year progresses from, from game one through, through game 20 and hopefully 25, uh, we'll see progression, you know, night by night. So, <clears throat> Thanks for coming out today, Joe. This has been the Varsity Kansas Big Show. Uh, I'm Tony Adami with the Wichita Eagle and varsitykansas.com. And thanks to KSN for having us out.